Cryopreservation with today's technology is a one-way trip from which you may never recover, so it is only permitted for people who are already legally dead. Yes, you have to first die if you want to cryogenically cheat death. Here is the procedure. After death has been legally declared, the body will be stabilized to supply the brain with enough oxygen and blood to maintain minimal function. To prevent blood clots, it will be packed in ice and injected with heparin, an anticoagulant. Water will then be removed from the body's cells and replaced with cryoprotectant, a glycerol-based chemical, or human antifreeze. The body will then be cooled on dry ice until it reaches minus 202 degrees Fahrenheit, at which point it will be placed in a container inside a larger metal tank that will be filled with liquid nitrogen to keep it at around minus 320 degrees Fahrenheit.